Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the style of your Joomla photo template. Right, all I'm going to use um, for this video is just Joomla and Google Chrome. You're going to have to download um, Google Chrome if you want to do, um, do it the same way I'm doing this video, but you can use Firefox with Firebug to do it the same way. Okay, so the first thing we do um, in Google Chrome, we just click on this icon here, scroll down to where it says Tools, and you see this thing says developer tools, we just click on here like so. Right, say if you want to make a more of a gap between the navigation and the slideshow underneath, so you just click this little icon here, and now you can select the bits you want to find out what controls the style. So you see this highlight blue, just click on it like so, and this has highlighted the, it's controlled by the ID called nav, and if we just pull this over so you see it more clearly, it's um, here it is the nav um, and the nav ID style is found in the menu CSS. So, so to find that, we just go to extensions, template manager, templates, and we just scroll down right to the bottom until we find the Joomla photo template. Click on the on the link here there, right. Now just mind yourselves what we're looking for and just go there. Yep, there you go. Nav menu CSS. Okay, so there you go. Menu CSS. We'll just click on the edit CSS and here it is. So there's the nav, now it controls the styles for it. And we just want to change this bit and scroll up. Okay, so it says uh, margin bottom. We just go change it. I'll show you what it looks like at the moment. See the little gap there. We're gonna make that. Um, we're gonna make that wider. So we just change this to forty. Click on save, like so. And we will just click on refresh. And there you go. You see a wider gap now between the navigation and the slideshow. So you can change anything about this template style using the same technique. So you, all you have to do is say if you want to change the background colour, or even the colour of the font, or even the font style itself. All you have to do is just go on here, on the tools, developer tools, and say if you want to change the whole website's background colour, for example. So we just need to go for that, we'd have to choose a body. And we could try, say, just change this to white. So we just get FF. And you notice this bit here has come white. Now we just want to change the wrap that control this holds the content of the website. Just click on here, and we just go FFF there. And now you see it's all white. So if you want to make these, are, these are just like. Um, I'll save when I do the changes here, they're not permanent. So if I show you, if I just refresh that, it'll go back to its original color. If you want to make the changes permanent, you have to go into the template CSS. So we see the style is controlled by the wrap, and that style is in the style of black CSS. So we just save and close, like so, and we click on so here it is style black CSS, click on click on it and yep there you go. So we just change that to FF or more and just scroll down right to the bottom. And here we are, the wrap style. FF uh, save. And now we just refresh it. And there you go, and now the whole background of the website's right. So now if we want to say, oh, um, I want to change the colour of, of the um, of this font, you do exa exactly the same thing. Tools, developer tools, and uh, show you how this one's done, you just go to body, and that would be controlled by the colour. And if we just change it to whatnot, and we see the colour's changed. And if you want to change it permanently, you just go to styles black CSS, which should be there. So obviously, same place we're here, and change them. 
I hope that's really helpful for hitting the template. And any questions, just let me know.